Your Excellency Prime Minister Hisham Indil, thank you for joining the BBC at uh, this time. Uh, obviously, the uh, demonstrations that took place very close to here at the uh, compound that hosts the American Embassy have just ended this morning uh, with a successful security mission in uh, Tahrir Square. Uh, I'd like to know your reaction to the whole issue and specifically whether you think there is an overreaction in the Muslim world. You've lived in the United States for uh, several years and you know what kind of uh, free speech culture there is there. Was this film, uh, is this anger justified over this film? Well, I, I, can, I, can, I can start by saying that this uh, event is, is uh, attached to a several unfortunate events. The first unfortunate event, of course, was this movie that uh, was disgusting and insulted the beliefs of uh, many Muslims and unjustified as well. So uh, that, that was a, the first unfortunate event. The second unfortunate event uh, related to the second part of your question is that uh, linking this movie, which was a work of a bunch of amateurs, uh, wicked, uh, you know, they wanted to uh, insult uh, a very respectable religion, that, that event or that, that movie linked to the U.S. government is an, another unfortunate event because it could not be linked to the U.S. government. And, and that was clearly mentioned by Madame Clinton uh, publicly and privately when I spoke to her after this thing uh, started. Also, the, uh, the, another, the, other, uh, the third unfortunate event was that, that uh, a peaceful uh, opposition uh, turned out to be, into, it turns out to be a violent expression, uh, which is also very unfortunate. Uh, we need to do, we need to work, we know, and, and, but also I have to mention that um, uh, the Egyptian authority uh, have taken uh, proper measures to protect the, uh, the diplomatic missions uh, on Cairo or on any or the Egyptian soil uh, to ensure that uh, all our uh, diplomatic uh, uh, people and, 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 and their missions are safe and well protected. Uh, myself, I visited uh, the compound uh, next door, as you, as you know, the, of the American embassy around it, and I talked to the police uh, people and I encouraged them, and I uh, told them to, to take the proper measure to protect the place uh, and apply uh, the law against the people that attacking them and attacking uh, the buildings. But, uh, we, we, but, but, I, but we need to make sure uh, that uh, this series of unfortunate events doesn't happen again because uh, it, it started by the movie, and then the misunderstanding, and then the violence, and, and then the, the peaceful expression of interest into a violence. So uh, it's unacceptable to insult our prophet, uh, peace upon him, and, and it's also uh, unjustifiable to have a peaceful expression turn out to be a violent one. So we need to do a lot of work to, to, to ensure that this doesn't happen again. And what kind of work are you talking about? Well, I think we're talking about, uh, first of all, short term and medium to long term. Short term, we need to maintain the security for these places to ensure that uh, nothing happened to, uh, to, to the places. And I also, uh, when I hear some positive uh, uh, you know, uh, messages coming from uh, the American side, of course, condemning the movie, disconnecting themselves from, any, from this kind of work and the determination to work together to ensure that this thing doesn't happen again. Medium to long term, well actually even in the short term, we need to uh, improve images from both sides. We need to reflect uh, Egyptians, Arab, Muslims. We need to reflect the true identity of the Muslims, uh, how peaceful they are, you know, and, and, and really be able to uh, talk to the Western media about the true, the, the true uh, you know, look and, and, and the heart of the, of the Muslims that they, they, they condemn violence. At the same time, we need to uh, uh, reach a balance between freedom of expression and, uh, and, and to maintain respect for other people's belief. So this is, uh, we need to work on it immediately on the short term, but I think the results we will see in the medium to long term. Dialogue is a key word for this. We need to dialogue a lot about this. When you say a balance between freedom of expression and not insulting other people's beliefs, uh, you know that there have been a lot of calls recently, not from official corners in the Egyptian government, but from other public figures, calling for the United States to uh, uh, put laws in action that would prevent such a movie, a uh, similar movie, uh, taking place in the future. Do you think this is 
reasonable to ask the United States to change? I its think course? we need to work out something around this because we cannot be, uh, we cannot wait and to see this happen again. You know, these are small group number of people that they're doing irresponsible work, and then everybody's paying the price for this for this uh, for this people is is is, uh, is work, and we have to do all what it takes to stop. Uh, this thing from happening again. So just to make sure I, I got this right, are, are you calling for the United States and other countries to take another look into their existing laws and... I'm, I'm, call, I'm calling on them to take the necessary measures to ensure that uh, insulting, uh, you know, uh, billions of people, or half, one and a half billion of people uh, in their belief, in their profit, that, that, that should not happen. And if it happens, that people uh, should pay for what they do. Uh, at the same time, we need to make sure that uh, uh, the reflection of the true Egyptian or, or the Muslims uh, is also uh, well reflected in, in the Western media. Um, this takes us to the relations between the government of Egypt and the United States government. Uh, of course, President Obama this remarks that Egypt is neither an enemy nor an ally, has stirred a lot of uh, debate. How do you, when you hear these remarks, how, how, how does the Egyptian government uh, look at this? Well, I think we need to uh, ensure or maintain the good relationship between the people of Egypt and the people of the United States. Uh, this is uh, uh, a relationship uh, that uh, we need to uh, uh, make it stronger based on mutual interest and, and of course, uh, respect of uh, sovereignty. And, uh, and, and I'm sure that, uh, uh, as I mentioned, and, and I keep, I'm sorry to keep repeating myself, but I think is, is dialogue is the best way to overcome what has happened the last few days, which was very unfortunate, as I mentioned, for everybody, for all sides. And uh, people lost their lives in this, and this is, this is very sad. And uh, we need to dialogue more about this. So do you feel that Obama was justified in making these remarks? Well, I'm trying to say again that we need to talk to ensure that, uh, that it is not about exchanges of, uh, of uh, remarks. It's about work on the ground to ensure that people are coming together, understanding each other's culture and, and needs and uh, concerns about what's happening you know, on both sides. In the wider context, are you concerned about relations between uh, countries of the Arab Spring uh, which have seen uh, mostly a rise in of the political mm -hmm. Islamic movements? and the West, do you think there is cause for concern here? Uh, well, I won't call it a concern, but we need to really uh, work out the terms of this relationship, I should say. And the visits we have received, I received, I'm not sure how many, but I, I probably 30 or 40 visits during the last month. Uh, of course, days are long and we carry out many meetings during the same day. People are coming here to learn about us. You know, who are those new guys? Uh, and, and we tell them the truth. What you see is what you get. This is a moderate system, open for the outside world, looking to work in peace and to collaborate. We have our culture, we have our uh, you know, customs. We also understand uh, the situation around us. We understand the strategic nature of relationship. So we need to set the terms that will, uh, will be of mutual benefits to, uh, to, the Arab, to the Arab Spring countries and the West, and I, I think it will be worked out very soon because I see a very good intention from both sides to work out such a relationship. Dr. Shamandil, Egyptian Prime Minister, thank you very much for this interview. Pleasure, thank you very much.